wonderful feeling being an Evertonian at the moment. They haven't seen their team make such a great start to a season since Everton last won the league championship 17 years ago. And for once, these fans are looking forward to a game against the old enemy with real optimism. And Everton are long overdue, a win against Liverpool. They've managed it just once in the last 13 derby games. But Tony, surely they'll never be in a better position to improve that record than they are today. Well, if you look at the positions in the league, Everton above Liverpool and that, and they've been playing some good football as well. It's OK, I've said what a good team they are, but they're very, very strong and they do play good stuff as well. Great opportunity for them, but the key to it probably is how the Liverpool react from that wonderful win they had in midweek. Who do you think are the key players? Key players, well, I mentioned Steven Gerrard, certainly Steven Gerrard for Liverpool. He, he's involved in everything good that Liverpool do. For Everton, big role for Carsley, but I think Marcus Bent as well. I always look at the forward players. Marcus Bent up front for Everton, having a great season. And, of course, Neil Mellor as well didn't have that good a time at West Ham, but since he's come back to Liverpool, wonderful goal against Arsenal recently. Big onus on those two front players, I feel. Liverpool currently four places and nine points below Everton, and that's something that hasn't happened for the best part of 20 years, although they do have a game in hand. And as we've mentioned, Liverpool also have a superb record here at Goodison Park in recent years. They're unbeaten in their last six visits here and looking to record an incredible fifth win in a row today. But that would be with the season now almost halfway through. We're ready to roll, and Goodison is rocking. They haven't looked forward to a derby game as much as this since the days of Neville Southall, Graham Sharp, and the other stars of Everton's title-winning team way back in 1987. But of course, Liverpool have come here to prove a point. They're used to top billing in this city, and they certainly don't like the feeling of being made to be second best. A fantastic atmosphere from a full house of 40,000. Local pride and so much more is at stake in front of a full house of Goodison. So fasten your seatbelts for Everton against Liverpool. Steve Bennett is the man who will try and keep the action under control. There have been nine red cards in the last 15 meetings between the clubs. Merseyside derbies are always fast furious and full-blooded and I don't expect the 200th edition of the longest running local rivalry in the game to be any different if you need to be told Everton are in blue Liverpool in red a grey overcast day on Merseyside but nothing grey about the atmosphere here as good as I can remember for a very long time in a Mersey derby Two teams in fine form, both playing similar formations today. Will they cancel each other out, as happens so often in these clashes? Carsley lifting it forward towards Bent, and Mihupia with the challenge. And the first free kick of the game goes Everton's way. Fast and furious, as you would expect. Do agree with you about the atmosphere, Alan, absolutely fantastic. Privileged to play in a lot of Merseyside derbies. The atmosphere today is as good as it has been. Osman on the right, it's a good ball in, and oh, Ben took it well. Stubbs was right behind him, and now Kilvan. <laughs> Liverpool win the throw. Seven wins out of 15 Premiership games for Rafa Benitez's team. They'll go above Aston Villa into sixth if they win or draw here today. Villa have got a local clash of their own tomorrow against Birmingham, of course. But I guess more significantly for Liverpool fans, if they win, they'll reduce the gap on Everton to six points. Ravison, Hibbert, and a first touch for Nigel Martin, who's conceded only ten goals in his last 15 Premiership games. Gallagher coming to meet it, Sammy Hoopier in behind him. Everton just a point behind Arsenal, five behind the leaders Chelsea. 
33 points already. Kilban for them. Up against Hosemi. Jao going in strong, but it was an even better challenge from Tim Cahill. Kuehl under pressure straight away from Hibbert. And the Australian did brilliantly to win the ball back, but it was a slightly loose pass across the face of his own penalty box. He's got away with it. These first few challenges in the opening ten minutes or so, so important in setting the tone of the game. That's right, and so important for Everton that they get in amongst these Liverpool players. They did have a tough game on Wednesday night. Fantastic performance from Liverpool. But are they now full of confidence? Are they perhaps a little bit tired? And was this a two-foot jump from Tim Cahill? He certainly lunged in, didn't he? Got the ball. The referee was happy with it. First experience of a Merseyside derby for him, of course. He's got to be careful because he's on four cautions. One more, and he would miss Everton's next game against Blackburn. Pistoni settling into the mood of things straight away, the Italian. Everton have made their best start for 24 years, and that despite being hammered 4-1 here against Arsenal on the opening weekend. That was one of only three defeats. The others came in here against Spurs and away to Chelsea. He was laughing, Tim Cahill, wasn't he? Dial just getting his own back there. Perhaps wasn't too happy with Cahill's early tackle. Going to be an interesting battle with those two. Cahill has been sent off by today's referee, Steve Bennett, for uh, celebrating his goal at Manchester City. Indeed, the only two red cards Mr Bennett has shown this season involve two players out there. Liverpool's Hosemi, the other one. Good break here by Osman. Looking for Kilban on the far post. And Kilban did brilliantly to come and win it back again. Everyone gets sucked into this kind of atmosphere. Even players who are normally more calm and measured in their approach. I think you have to go with the atmosphere. I think Liverpool have got to rise to the challenge as well. You hear the noise from the Everton fans. The Everton players are getting their tackles in. And Liverpool have got to compete. They've got to win their own battles. Earn the right to play the football today. Stubbs, real true blue Evertonian himself. The ball in behind Reset. Osman with a little nudge and the linesman a signal for a free kick. I think it was a foul. He's already hit a couple of good balls, Alan Stubbs. It's the ball over the top. Reset gets there first, uses his body there. It's a clear shove, isn't it, from Osman? Always dangerous though to try and usher the ball out of play. No arguments about the foul on that one though. Steven Gerrard has pushed up in a really advanced position as Mella wins the header. Kilban winning it back. Haman to Hasemi. Now Cinema on goal. He and Mella, of course being introduced as substitutes on Wednesday night to such great effect, turning the uh, Champions League tie in Liverpool's favour as Carragher, who used to support Everton, comes out with the ball and wins the free kick. Good play for Jamie Carragher. Heard the ball in the first place. Little nudge from Graveson, wasn't it? I think too much. Dispossesses Marcus Bent, wasn't a foul. Good run, a little clip from Graveson. Gerard will take the free kick, waiting for Sammy Hoopier to make his way forward. Kuehl on the far edge, and that's a dangerous ball back in. Well, I think this is a tactic they can certainly use from dead balls, particularly free kicks. Gerard looks up. Tony Hibbert's one of the smaller players in the Everton back four. We know how good Harry Kuehl is in the air. Dangerous header back across goal, isn't it? Unfortunately for Liverpool, no one coming in at the far post. Steven Gerrard pursuing this one. Up against Pistoni, who concedes the throw. Stephen Gerrard's cousin Anthony is on the playing staff here at Goodison Park, by the way. An up-and-coming midfielder or centre-back, just 18. Hasemi, who has played all of his career before this season in Spain. Won't quite understand what this is all about, I would think. Didn't have too many local derbies at Malaga. And, of course, pretty much the same applies to Rafa Benitez, the uh, Liverpool manager, who's never experienced the derby game in his coaching career in Spain. 
and certainly not one like this. <laughs> certainly not one like this. I think people would explain to him how much it means to the, the local supporters. He's finding out for it for himself firsthand. Stubbs, good ball for Bent. Up against Risa. Hibbert there to help out. And his swinging cross towards Cahill or Kilban. Good play from Everton. Another good ball from Alan Stubbs. Good control from Bent. When Bent goes out wide, what you do need, you need runners coming into the box. Look at Tim Cahill. Always makes fantastic runs. Arrives in the box. It's hard to pick him up. There he is. I mentioned it at the start. Those runs from midfield. Just arrived so late and it's the timing as well. Very often gets on the end of crosses. Weir's headed clearance. Risa will let that run for a Liverpool throw. Liverpool have actually scored more goals than Everton in the uh, Premiership this season, but they've also conceded more, and they've only got one away win at Fulham, and they were 2-0 down at half-time in that game. Kewell making ground. Cinema Pongo to his right, Mella to his left. Osman. Challenged by Salik Jow, and that's why he's been brought in the, uh, with his uh, respect, more cultured play, if you like, of Xavi Alonso, who's been overlooked today for the harder approach of Salik Jow. I don't think it's a day for cultured play, is it? I think you've got to get the tackles in. Dial will certainly do that. And also, he will give Steven Gerrard the licence to get forward, which is what he's doing now. He's coming across the pressure, Alan Stubbs. Very advanced role for Gerrard today. Cahill, and the pressure from Mella. Everton have won five of their eight home games. Their away record's even better. Five wins, two draws, just one defeat. 17 points on the road compared to 16 here at Goodison. They only managed one away win in the whole of last season. Cahill, Jow's challenge. David Moyes has never beaten Liverpool, two draws, two defeats, and Everton have failed to score in three of those four matches he's been in charge of. He knows all about the derby atmosphere from his days at Celtic, of course. Done a marvellous job, though, hasn't he, at Everton? Difficult season last year. He really has got his team playing today. Very relaxed before the game as well, when we went and had a cup of tea with him. I'm sure he'll be looking for a big performance from his players. Man's head out. Carragher there to clear for Liverpool. Straight to Weir. Hoopier couldn't afford to let that bounce. And Cahill guides it back to Nigel Martin, who's played in every uh, Premier League game for Everton this season. Richard Wright on the subs bench. Mello was offside. First ever derby for him, too. Kilban. Clearance by Carragher finds Haman, who was suspended for the Olympiakos game. The Stoney. Now David Weir. Marcus Spence header has gone straight to Didi Haman. Weir. And the ball absolutely flying around in that middle third of the field. Gerard. Gerard's gone for the return. We had a cross on the cover. And the Everton man, always favourite. Good covering from David Weir. Sort of danger. At the track across. Take the ball off for Steven Gerrard. David Weir's the only Everton man who played the last time they beat Liverpool five years ago. It's the only time he's finished on the winning side in nine local derbies. Reese has crossed, the uh, crowd are helping out the officials there. The referees ignored their advice. The 
Liverpool will have the first corner of the game in the 13th minute. False start and uh, shot by Harry Kuehl, high in amongst the Everton fans. Certainly a difficult one to hit. Beaten to it by Cahill, Carragher's clearance finds Gerrard. In behind, Cinema Pongo. They are brought to Anfield by uh, Gerard Houllier, who's working here today for French television, not far from us. Kilban. Bent. Jarrell's tackle was a good one. Houpia. Gerrard. Brought down by Gravison. He's the funny side of it. It's definitely a foul, though. I think it's fair to say Mr. Bennett is not the most popular referee with Evertonians. Indeed, he uh, once sent off David Moyes, the only time the Everton manager has been dismissed in his managerial career. Kill. Mellor. Now Gerard. If it goes in hard, free kick given. The ball is like a hot potato at the moment. No one could take more than one or two touches on it. Well, it's just a bit sharper there. Really need someone to get on the ball and settle things down, but you're just not going to get that time and space today. About ten players in a line on the edge of the penalty area for Gerrard's free kick. Mella got the touch, and it wasn't that far wide. Good effort for Mella. Doesn't need to do a lot because there's so much pace on the ball. Does whip in a great ball, Gerard. On target, it would have given Nigel Martin a problem. He is under pressure, though. Four goals already this season, including, of course, those uh, classic strikes against Arsenal in the last minute, which gave Liverpool their win. And a crucial goal against Olympiacos on Wednesday night. Barras is Liverpool's leading scorer this season with 10 goals. They've uh, rested him. He's only just come back from a hamstring injury. And Liverpool do have a game on Tuesday night. It's effectively their game in hand at home to Portsmouth, which you can also see on this channel, incidentally. If Liverpool could win that, then uh, they'd be in good shape again behind the leading clubs. Osman got inside Risa impressively. Sammy Hupia is an impenetrable barrier, though. Gerard, Cinema Pongo. Pistoni showed him inside and uh, there was heavy traffic there. Osman. Hippert on the overlap. Osman again. There's Gravison. Kilban's layoff. Pistoni for Everton. Back to Kilban. Should be Kirkland, but he's under pressure. The referee didn't give a free kick. Pumped back in by Carsley, away by Carragher. Jow. Now Haman. Here's Kevin Kilban for Everton. Stubbs. Carragher. Here's Hibbert for Everton. And no question about that free kick. Didi Haman bringing down Osman. He just beaten by the skill, wasn't he? Wonderful skill from Leon Osman. Watch his drag back. One, two, touch out your feet. Totally beaten by the skill. Made a good start, Leon Osman. Didn't play last week. Back into the team. Point to proof. There's a lot of space down Liverpool's left hand side as well.
Lee Carsley will take the kick for Everton. We are making a run towards the near post. The semi got it away. Pistoni. Steven Gerrard's tackle. Got to beat the first man from them free kicks. So frustrating when you send the big men up as a forward, you wait for a good ball into the box. Got to get it over the first man. Gravison. Cinema Pongo did well to win that back. Haman finds Kuehl. His Carragher, good ball. Jao. Asemi. Cinema Pongo again, but Kilban wasn't going to let him settle. Semi gives it away and then wins it back. Well, predictably, this opening uh, 18 19 minutes has been frantic. Osma well, wasn't going to give up on it, but uh. Oh, his second favourite to reach that ball. Good start for Everton, isn't it? The possession. There's not too many chances being created. And this time last season, David Moyes' team were 15th in the table, 16 points worse off than they are now. It took them until the middle of March to collect 30 points. As I mentioned before, they've now got 33 already. I think he'll still be looking at it and saying seven more points, we should be safe from relegation. That's the way you've got to approach it in the Premiership. They are having a marvellous season, no doubt about that. Kosemi for Liverpool. That's how it play. Well, maybe. Benitez is thinking of an early change here. I must say his uh, tactical use of substitutes has been outstanding in his short time in England. I wouldn't have thought he'd be too disappointed at the moment because Liverpool have just stifled Everton, haven't created too much. At the moment, both teams cancelling each other out. Unless there's an early injury that we don't know about. Cinema Pongo. Gerard, that's a great return ball to Cinema Pongo. Now kill and Mellor's offside. Good inter interchange play from Liverpool there. Mellor was offside. A couple of good one twos though. Rupia. Jiao. Not sure Carragher wanted that ball. And a foul by Carsley on Steven Gerrard. I think one of the problems both midfields have got at the moment is there's only one forward playing up front for both teams. It's very difficult as a midfield player. When you look up, you'd like to have two targets. When there's only one, it does make it very difficult to put in a telling ball. Carragher swings it towards Kuehl. Reese has had it. Now we're for Everton. So an Everton throw. And Gerard has been involved in every one of those midfield skirmishes. As ever driving Liverpool on from the heart. Of their team. Here's Gravison. Bent. Clever. And a good pullback here. What a miss. Well, it's always the way, isn't it? You give him the big build up. You talk about his runs into the box, how good he is with the headers. And he's missed a great chance there. Great play from Gravison. Lovely little turn back from Bent. Cahill's got a score, hasn't he? He's unmarked. Six yards out. I think he must just take his eye off it. Perhaps he's expecting someone to come in from behind. Give him a little nudge. David Moyes knows he should have scored. Easily the best chance of the match. Well, he's now gone 11 games without scoring after getting two in his first four games and has never been a player. 
don't think you'll get an easier chance than that for the rest of the season. You certainly don't normally get chances like that in a derby match. It won't stop him making the runs, though. He wins that header against Jao. And Carragher for Liverpool. And he was top scorer for Millwall last season, Tim Cahill, with 12 goals. Just those two so far for Everton. It should have been three. You can see he's still thinking about it. He's shaking his head there, Tim Cahill. He's got to get it out of his mind. Wonderful play from Ben. I just think he takes his eye off it. I think he's expecting a challenge behind. There was no one near him. He didn't know that. Should be 1 0 up. Masemi. Jiao. Gerard pushing on again. Here's the man for Liverpool. And the ball not spending a great deal of time in the possession of either team. Mella, beaten to it by Weir. Haman, Gerard came through three Everton players with the ball. He's not getting his own way against Tarzu. Pistoni and Stubbs are both screaming at Nigel Martin to come out and kick it. In the end, Pistoni had to put it out for a throw. I said to him, they're arguing, come out and kick it out. The problem was he was too far on his line, Nigel Martin, there. Well, Semi looking for Mella, but it was Stubbs who came to head clear. Come on. to the Everton man and the uh, home fans certainly believe that should have been a free kick but it's another Liverpool throw certainly a strong challenge wasn't it Everton fans think it should have been a foul there's Stubbs he's leaning into him I think they're both falling over I'm not sure there was a foul there that was had up and Joe tried the spectacular and got it spectacularly wrong it's a difficult skill at the best of times Had a good start to the match, ODL. So far, done exactly what he's been brought into the team to do. Winning the tackles. Most of his appearances this season uh, have been from the subs bench. So he's going to want to make the most of this first team starting opportunity. Semi. Kuhl was trying to sneak in behind Weir. Gerard. Weir's there again. Chow tried the shot, Cahill with a block. Liverpool with just one defeat in the last 13 derbies, stretching back over five years, unbeaten in the last nine. Bastoni here against Cinema Pongo. And Stubbs puts his foot right through the clearance. Up of the head of Sammy Hoopia. Now Graveson for Everton. Poor ball, Kuehl. Great challenge from Weir. Come on. And the tackle's flying in now. The referee's going to act about that one. Hibbert on Mella. Well, I think he might have got a yellow card for the foul, Tony Hibbert. Certainly his reaction afterwards is going to get him a yellow card. First portion of the game, it's taken 27 minutes to arrive. Surprised it's taken that long. There's the foul, takes Meller out. If he wasn't going to get the yellow car for that, see, Meller's not happy. If it gets up, not happy with the reaction. A little nudge coming in, there you go. Silly yellow card. Genuine scouser Tony Hibbert, who used to play in the same Sunday League team as Steven Gerrard, in fact. He takes this free kick for Liverpool. 
and finds Q. And that's not a bad ball for Risa, but it just picked up pace. Risa was offside as well. Good free kick, though. Sure, it's one they work on the training ground as Q. Not quite sure he meant to do that. He's not offside, though, is he? No way. Nowhere near offside. Poor decision from the linesman. Gerard. Free header for Carragher. And the belated flag from the linesman. It wasn't offside in the end. He gave a foul by uh, Cinema Pongol, I think. Stoney. Jow's backward header. Cinema Pongo loses out to Kilban. Now Jow regains possession and finds Kuehl. And it's still being played at a thousand miles an hour. As you would expect. I think it'd be a thousand miles an hour for a 90 minutes today. Can't see the pace slackening off. Everton will be kicking themselves though that they're not a goal up. Oh, stupid challenge there by Jow. He's very lucky to escape a yellow card. Oh, Tim Cahill quite rightly saying he's done two or three fouls. I don't think he can have any complaints. He's nowhere near the ball, Dial. That's when the kick comes in. He's nowhere near it. The ball's at chest height and he's just clipped him around the ankles. It took well, 27 minutes, did it? But we've now had two cautions in the space of three minutes. Kupia's clearance. And this follows Osman. Semi gets it away. Jiao. Cinema Pongo. He's got the pace to worry Pistoni, who stepped across, used his strength cleverly. Good defending. And here he is again. Wasn't ready for the second challenge. Good play though from Pistoni. Good experienced defender. Settled in nicely in that left back position. Osemi <laughs> wins his battle against Kilban. Now Cahill. Osman's made a good run down the right. Here he is. Bent in the middle. Kilban arriving. And Cahill. And Risa just got a block on the cross. Gerard. Harry Kuehl. Now Risa. Cahill. Marcus Penn for Everton. Nice bit of cultured play in amongst the mayhem, but he's given away possession. Kuehl. And determined to try and win that back band. He's still in there battling. Now Kilban. And flying in with a very heavy tackle. Ravison. It's boiling up now. Half an hour gone. Pistoni to kill back. I've got a feeling the next yellow card's not far away. <laughs> if there's any doubt about that. Osemi. Now Mella. Got round Cahill impressively. Cinema Pongo. Gerard. The Everton fans booing him for that earlier challenge. But now he wins a free kick from Cahill's challenge. I think Cahill's had two or three fouls as well. He'll do well to escape the yellow card. I think that should be a yellow card as well. Gonna get away with it. The yeah, Everton players, sorry, how the Everton players certainly weren't happy with Gerard's earlier tackle. I'm going to say Mr Bennett sent Cahill off after celebrating his goal by removing his shirt at Manchester City earlier in the season. Gerard with a free kick for Liverpool. It's a good one! Oh, and a free header! And Mella came in, and Jow onto the rebound. And again, Bent gets it away, but only as far as Risa. Now 
Nigel Martin's punch has gone straight to Gerard. Back in. Mellor's there again. And again. And it all ends with a goal kick. Well, we've seen a wonderful chance for Tim Cahill. And Neil Mellor won't get a better chance than this. Got to score. It's a great save from Nigel Martin. Mellor's got to score, though. What is he, three yards out? It's a brilliant save. But as a forward, you've got to take those chances. Let's not take anything away from Nigel Martin. No, great save. Both teams have missed clear-cut opportunities. Headers from inside the six-yard box. Osman. Well played. Hibbit. Got round reset cleverly. Now takes on Haman. Goal kick. Fantastic save, wasn't it? Really should be 1 1. Point blank, isn't it? All you can do as a goalkeeper is get your arms up, try and stop the ball. Important tackle from Stubbs as well. Mellor's so close to him. He wouldn't have known a lot about it. Just like in true Peter Schmeichel style, make yourself as big as possible. It was a good save. Fantastic reaction from a man now in the 18th season of his career. Kewell's cross. I think it was too good, wasn't it? I don't think anyone was expecting a ball of that quality from Harry Kewell. But he is capable of it. Reads it well, doesn't think about it, looks up. There you go, get on the end of that. I'll put a good ball in. And when you do that, you turn around and say to the forwards, where was you? Carragher. Hill ban, now bent. Clever. Good football from Everton. Weir. Bent, that's a great little touch for Kilbath. He spotted Osman coming in. So did Risa. Kevin Kilbath. Estoni. Here's Bent again. Given away by Cinema Pongol this time, and it's uh, well, a bit frantic still in that Liverpool half. And the ball's been knocked out of play because uh, Everton have a player, Marcus Bent, injured. He's got a slight knock there, I think. Nothing too serious. Back up on his feet. Just slightly lost possession of the ball. It was Hossamy, wasn't it, who come in? Yep. Stood on his foot. Always painful, those ones. Everton's leading scorer, Marcus Bent, this season with five goals, but he hasn't scored in his last six games. Had a good season, very, very difficult role to play. Up there on your own, you've got to keep hold of the ball. He's done it very well so far. Ten minutes to half time in the 200th Merseyside derby. Everton nil, Liverpool nil. Marcus Bent for the home side. Osman. Cahill would have been offside. Well, if they need him. They've got the uh, considerable option of Duncan Ferguson ready to come on from the Everton bench. Something he's done to great effect so often this season already. I'm sure we'll see him later on in the match. Regardless of whether Everton are winning, losing or drawing, I'm sure he'll be on the pitch. And he loves these games. Bent. A header away by Carragher. now Liverpool's longest serving player Jamie Carragher I mentioned before he was an Everton fan but he's uh, bringing up his little lad as a red Mella chasing here with David Weir who calmly coolly came out with the ball and finds Gravison Weir again for Everton Steven Gerrard, that's a good ball for Mella. Salif Jow leaves it to Didi Haman. Gerrard. Haman. Now Hasemi. 
Carragher sizes up the options, but has given it away to Pistoni. Well, it's a great little flick on for Cinema Pongo. David Weir did brilliantly. What a good header by Mella. That's an excellent header from Mella. Wasn't entitled to win it. I think with Weir and Stubbs up there, he won't win too many headers. It was a good flick on. Good covering from David Weir, though. It's a foul throw, surely. Well, Lansman didn't give anything. It was uh, referee Bennett who made the decision. I can't believe the linesman didn't flag. Just threw the ball straight into the ground. What's this throw? <laughs> Unusual technique, isn't it? It certainly was. Not good when you're receiving it as well, bouncing about five times before it gets to you. Graveson. Osman, good ball. Osman for Everton. Still, Osman. Oh, he played it in behind Marcus Ben. Osemi. Brilliantly taken by Cinema Pongo. That's great skill. It's a chance, wasn't it, for Osman? Good skill from him. I think Sammy Hoopier does well, though. Because he gets across. You can see Hossam, he's in trouble. Risa, sorry. And then he comes across just enough. I think it might actually be Risa who actually recovers. It is. Just enough to put him off. Corner. Sammy Hooper hasn't scored yet this season. And he's played in every single game in the league and the Champions League. He's gone to the near post to try and win that header, but uh, David Weir got that ahead of him. 20 players in the Everton half. Gerard. Sammy Hoopy is still up there. Here he is. Oh, it's a good effort. You nearly talked it in for him there, Raul, didn't you? Saying he hasn't scored this season. Pretty obvious he was going to come to him. The quality from Steven Gerrard is absolutely superb, though. Lucky break. A great strike. What about that for a ball? Just whip it in, put it in the danger area. Does well. Just hooks it past the defender. He's unlucky. This is 200th game for Liverpool today in the Premiership. Sammy Hoopy up. Well, another big, big Sunday coming your way on Sky Sports 1. Tomorrow at noon, Aston Villa against Birmingham. And, of course, that's followed by the meeting of the champions and the challengers. Better throw from Hosemi this time, although that's gone too far as well. Five minutes to half time. A very even contest. Everton will feel they've had uh, more of the ball. But both teams have carved out just one golden opportunity each. Carragher. It's a great ball for Gerard, but he couldn't take it in his stride. Semi. I think it was Rafa Benitez who said in the build-up to this game that you need for matches like this, fire in your belly, but ice in your brain. You've got to do your best to put out the atmosphere, play it professionally as Liverpool are doing here with Kewell. Good work by Hibbert and Osman, who then spoils it by giving it away to Risa. Inaccuracies from both sides. Bent will chase this one in behind the Liverpool central defenders, but that is superb play by Sammy Hoopier. Fantastic skill, wasn't it? Under pressure. Good ball from Cahill. Bent was right behind him. 
Good work from Reset. And Liverpool have a corner. I was just thinking it was in Rome's Olympic Stadium, a match played behind closed doors in the Champions League on Wednesday. It couldn't be more different. Just slightly different, isn't it? Well, I could hear the players shouting that night, now you can't hear yourself. <laughs> Gerard better put his fingers in his ears as well. He'll be getting uh, abuse down there as he takes the corner and gets it back. Phil Van in bravely. Now Graveson. The man got there in the end. Semi, but another Everton throw. Cahill. Graveson. Good challenge from Jow, and that could set up a counter-attack with Mella. Steven Gerrards alongside him. Kewell's also arriving. Mella went his uh, own separate way. I think Mella was always going to shoot. What's this run from Steven Gerrard? Fantastic run. Ball's given away. Gerrard doesn't really want the ball. What he wants to do is distract the defenders. There he goes. Takes two across. Opens the gap for Mella. Don't always want the ball. Just try and create space for your teammate. He's had a good first half, Gerrard. And Neil Mella certainly will feel at half time he should have scored, as will Tim Cahill. Into the final minute of the half, there haven't been too many stoppages, although the uh, the ball might need to go into intensive care. A couple of paracetamols, I think, for the ball at half-time. <laughs> Mala leaning into Pistoni, the referee's let it go, stops for Everton. Great header, Kilban, and then by Sammy Hoopier to clear the danger. This will be, I would imagine, the final meaningful uh, Everton attack of the half. Yeah. A minute. Mella. And even Stephen Gerrard didn't bother to chase that. Cahill, is this to be the final chance of the first half at Goodison? Kilban's cross, Ben could get on the end of it, Osman's in behind him. Hibbert, now Graveson. It's a good-looking ball for Cahill, Kirkland missed it completely, came out, attempted to punch it away, punched thin air. Was brave again, that man Tim Cahill makes the run. There he is, they still haven't picked him up, he's already there. Kirkland was nowhere near it, was he? The old Superman. Didn't get anywhere near it. So far, the 200th Merseyside derby has gone according to script. Fast, furious, frenetic, full-blooded, not much football, and just two goal-scoring opportunities. Tim Cahill headed wide for Everton. Neil Mellor produced a great save from close range by Nigel Martin. Not a lot of football played, as I say, but it's nothing other than immensely watchable for all that. Nil-nil at half-time. Everton's 17th last season, the lowest they've ever finished in the Premiership. Only six points above the relegation places. 39 points, their lowest total for over 20 years. And it all uh, makes it even more remarkable 
that they've had the start of the season that they have had. No changes made by either manager during the half-time interval. Stoney's clearance. And then away by Jamie Carrigo. Had a very solid first half in that Liverpool back four. Gerrard. Weir. Under pressure from Mellor. Cinema on goal. Just kept that in play. Now Jao. Haman. Kosemi was one back his place. The Spanish player. Won't keep it for long with the straight passes like that, however. It'd be interesting to see how this second half shapes up. How will Liverpool fare after their midweek game? Will they be tired? Will they still be full of the confidence they've shown in the first half? Spray the ball around well at times. One thing for sure, the tackles were still flying in this second half. Ibert. Now Gravison for Everton. Good driving run by the Danish international. Osman picks up the uh, pieces. Hibbert. Here's Graveson again for Everton, holding off Kuehl. Good play. Hibbert. Now Osman. Good effort that. It was a good effort. Good turn, patient build up from Everton. Uh, bodies in the box. In the end, only involved Hibbert and Osman. Didn't think twice about it. Just gets underneath it. Perhaps bobbles up a little bit for him. Good effort, though. He was rested for the game against Bolton here last week, but he's uh, figured in every one of Everton's Premiership games. He came on with 20 minutes to go against Bolton. A man for Liverpool finding Gerrard. Mark on goal, Jow up alongside him, Mella just ahead of him, what a run! And then in the end, the final ball not good enough. It was just that final ball, wasn't it? Good run from Diao, good pace from Pongo, just the final ball. 18 of Liverpool's 24 points have come at Anfield. And the away form has been disappointing, and by the way, four of Liverpool's next five Premiership games are at home. Sammy Hoopia. Kuehl. Oh, a great bit of skill from the Australian. And then he wasted all with a loose ball. Well, it wasn't a good pass, but again, in the end, he just didn't have any options. He looked up, Harry Kuehl. There wasn't really anyone to pass to. Kuehl again, come on. Cinema Pongo back to Hosemi. Come on. And it's happened uh, too often today. Just a bit too straight, wasn't it? Too much of a straight ball. Really got to work it into a forward's feet. It's very difficult with these new balls. You try and put them in over the top. He just skims off the pitch and goes out of play, which is what happened. Liverpool are yet to keep a clean sheet in an away game this season. They come forward with Haman again. Cinema Pongo. Kuehl could have found a bit of room, but then he ran straight into Alan Stubbs. Again from Kilban, he doesn't duck out of anything. He certainly took a nasty whack there from Hosami. Just fully had his eyes on the ball. Hosami, I think, was just protecting himself. Eyes on the ball. They've both got their arms raised, haven't they? Crunching challenge. You've got to use your arms to get up there. Give him the benefit of the doubt, Hosami. Very much a modern winger, isn't he, Kevin Kilban? In the old days, you'd never have found too many wingers going up for a header like that, but uh, he's got plenty of courage and physical strength. I think you've got to have in the modern game. You can't just be the old-fashioned winger where you just stand out on the touchline and do a little bit of magic. 
You've almost got to be that left-sided midfield player now. The days of the wingers, I think they're long gone. You've got to have everything in your box. You've got to be able to do everything, and he can do it, Kevin Kilburn. Kevin Moyes, a big fan of his. Of course, he played for Moyes at uh, Preston North End, his first league club. And Kevin Kilburn has started every Premiership game for Everton this season. Says just getting some instructions out to his players if they can hear him, which I doubt. That's better. Sign language is always a good option. He's <laughs> not happy, is he? I think he's talking to Neil Meller, and I'm not sure Neil Meller understands what he's saying. <laughs> I don't think anyone would with those actions. So he goes and complains to Alec Miller instead. Echo Ayestran alongside him there. Hello, Spaniard. You often wonder why managers bother sometimes, because the players, even when they can hear you, you don't want to hear what they're saying. Sometimes you're better off just sitting there. And Liverpool get the free kick. Osman a little puzzled. such tight games as these set pieces are often the best chance of a breakthrough Steven Gerrard with the free kick Sammy Hoopier makes a run round the back oh and it was a very good effort when it came out to Salif Jow it was a very good effort not quite the quality this time from Gerrard if it goes straight to an Everton player <coughs> it's Kilban who heads it out no back lift at all is it from Diel he's very static just sort of goes for it, half volley. Again, just rising. Just listen to the noise sweeping around Goodison again now. Gerard. Linesman flagging curiously for a Liverpool free kick, I think. It could be a throw. Bit of banter. I think the Everton fans will certainly give Steven Gerrard a bit of stick. There's no doubt. I think everyone respects him as a player. They'd love him to be a blue, that's for sure. Yeah. There's free kick now. Hoopier went down in an incident uh, off the ball there involving Gladison. Whether he slipped or was pushed, who knows? Always the way, isn't it? When you say how much they respect him, what a great player he is. He slips over. There's Hoopia. Getting tugged back, isn't he? By Graveson. Didn't matter with the free kick that Gerard didn't put in. It was a foul. Gerard. This is weird for Everton. Full ban. Challenged by Salif Jow, who's certainly been a big success in that role in the middle of midfield, the enforcer. He's done exactly what he was putting the team to do, getting the tackles in. Given Gerard the license to get forward. Good game so far, Salif Diaw. I don't think Everton have really started in this second half. The fans are trying to encourage them. Been quite a sloppy start for them so far. I think we'll soon see Duncan Ferguson warming up if it remains the case. Well, they remain a very hard team to score against. Only Chelsea have kept more clean sheets than Everton. Away by Stubbs. Carragher. Back from Pistoni. Kupia. It's a Liverpool throw in. quality of the set pieces has been disappointing throw-ins and free kicks have uh, continuously been wasted and so free kicks where you've got to miss the first man and certainly get the ball in the box it happens to the best of us all over and make a fool of yourself Jamie Carragher for Liverpool 
Mallet, awkward header for him. Gerard finds Cinema upon goal on to Didi Haman. Risa did well there. Couldn't turn towards his own goal, then gets brought down by Cahill. He's got to be careful. Not the first time he's committed a foul. I think he must be on his last chance now. It's got to be three or four that he's done. He's got away with it. Haman. Just a suspicion that Liverpool are getting the upper hand in the early stages of the second half. They just seem to be dropping off Everton. I know defensively they are very good. There's Big Duncan warming up. And perhaps they need another option up front. They've only got the one target. It's making it difficult for them as the home team. Might have to go two up front. Cahill. Clearance by Risa finds Kuehl. Well, I've been watching Merseyside derbies for more years than I care to remember, and so many of them are settled by a single goal. You don't get many of the uh, classics like the 4-4 you were involved in, Tony. No, you don't, Al. A lot more of the games that I played in. I played in, what, 11 or 12, I think it was, in the end. A lot of them were 1-0 victories for either team. Last time Everton beat Liverpool, which was at Anfield. That was a goal, and only one goal. It came in the first five minutes, scored by Kevin Campbell. Since then, and that was five years ago, Liverpool have not lost to their rivals home or away. And they haven't lost here at Goodison since Howard Kendall was in charge, October 1997. a yellow card, it will. He's very late, isn't he, Risa? Very, very late. No complaints again about that one. All the yellow cards justified so far today. Third caution of the game, Hibbit, Jiao and Risa now, all in Mr Bennett's notebook. Well, Stubbs and Weir forward for the free kick. Very good header away. It was Reeser who got that. And then committed the foul, of course. And Pistoni sees his cross blocked by Hosemi. And there's a big gap now that he's left behind. Cinema Pongo will fill it. Gerard ahead of him. Poor ball. Oh, that final pass again from Pongo. Because he was in Steven Gerard. Had a great run. Away at the pass. Far too heavy. Carrier's got to keep his eyes on that. Cahill. Kilban. It's a good early ball, but it's caught everyone by surprise, including his own teammates. And Osman's persistence has earned Everton a throw from nothing. And here he is. Now Graveson. Clever looking ball. Semi dealt with it well. Cinema Pongo for Liverpool. Pace is picking up again as we reach the hour mark. Gerrard up against Carsley. And he's fouled him. Good tackle by the linesman, though. And it was. This is the earlier one. Pongo on the ball. Got to travel with it. Looks up. The right option, just the pace on the pass. Disappointing. Got to give your teammate something to get on the end of. You can try again. Everton's free kick.
Tommy Gravison will take it. Over the head of Kilban, easy clearance for Haman and a good one to Melina Gerard. Given away to David Weir. Into the final half an hour at Goodison. Nil-nil. Kilban for Everton. free kick a silly foul isn't it from Hossamy there has been a good battle between those two Kilban and Hossamy it's a silly challenge might be one too many as well he doesn't need to foul Kilban's got his body there he's not going anywhere you don't need to bring him down I'm telling him to calm down it's more the position of the free kick it's going to be the problem now Fortunate to escape a yellow card there, perhaps. David Weir sneaking around the back, Stubbs near the penalty spot for Everton. Well, it's a sadly familiar tale. He's got to do better with this, hasn't he? He's trying to get pace on the ball. He might even have been trying to whip it towards the near post, try and catch Kirkland out. Poor delivery, though. <laughs> Everton's throw. They've won every game this season, Everton, in which they've scored the first goal. And I saw a quote from a... Uh, manager this week just saying uh, when Everton do score they celebrate as though they've actually won the game because they know they probably will <laughs> here's Jow for Liverpool Madison sliding challenge the referee says play on cinema Pongo to Gerard now Haman reset suddenly it opens up for him Hibbert steps in to win it back though for Avison. Osman on to Cahill. Ravison again. The whole people, it's Hibbert pursuing the ball. And Kirkman took a bit of a chance there, but got away with it. The game's gone on a long while since that challenge by Gravison. The referee hasn't spoke to him. Salif Dia wasn't happy with it. Harry Kuehl, Gerard. Well, Rafa Benitez has clearly made his mind up, but it's time for a change. Looks like Antonio Nunes is the player who he's going to introduce. Salif Jao, meantime, finds Cinema Pongo, who could be the player sacrificed. Cahill for Everton, meantime. Gravison. Here's Kilban. Marcon goes foul. Last minute instructions from the coach. Gravison. It's a clever ball, but Cahill just a bit slow to react, enabling Carragher to get it away. Only as far as Stubbs, though. Pistoni. Here's Kilban up against Hosemi. Well, he's surely got to be yellow carded this time. On the totting up process alone, he is. He was lucky, wasn't he, the last time to get away with it? No question again about that one. Good play from Kilban. Maybe got a slight bit of the ball, but when the player goes down, he's always going to get a yellow card. Well, let's see if we can get a better free kick this time. His fifth caution of the season, that's going to lead to a suspension for the Spanish player. Gravison will take the free kick. Oh, it's gone through everyone, amazing. Osman back in again. In a way, by Jamie Carragher, who's had a splendid match for Liverpool. And David Moores might be contemplating a change as well. 
think he'll be thinking about it. 25 minutes left in the game. I'm sure he's thinking about Big Duncan. How can he change it? Perhaps create a few more chances. In very few chances so far for Everton. If Nunes does come on for Liverpool, he needs to get into the game very, very quickly. A man. Reset. Semi stabs it forward. And Kuehl or Meller, not sure which, was offside. Now Liverpool have decided now to make that change. Antonio Nunes, who had to wait over three months for his debut after his pre-season knee injury, will come on, and it's Didi Haman's place he will take. Nunes made his debut against Arsenal and has now figured in the last half a dozen games. Went off at half-time last week against Aston Villa. Having started the game on the right of midfield. Straight into the action. Well, that's a good example. He won't get the time he's used to, Nunes. Got to do it a little bit sharper. And we'll get challenged as soon as he takes one touch. He'll be tackled. Looks like he's slotted in on the right-hand side of midfield, Nunes. Pongo or Meller almost gone 4-4-2 now, Liverpool. Stevie Gerrard dropped back a little bit more into midfield. It's a good little header. Nice in the mouth, Pongo. A bit of a torrid welcome to the derby game for Antonio Nunes. Who, of course, joined Liverpool as part of the deal that took Michael Owen to Real Madrid. Michael Owen, who scored a couple of goals when Liverpool won 3 0 here last season. Harry Kuehl got the other. The teams drew 0 0 in the reverse fixture at Anfield. Carragher. Well, Sammy's given it away to Kilban. That's well, a great run by Kilban. Now Graveson and Cahill in the middle. Important header away by John Arnorisa. But here's Osman for Everton. somewhere or other, isn't he? If it only takes one goal to win a Merseyside derby, no wonder they're celebrating with such passion at Goodison. A good cross, wasn't it? But it actually comes to Carsley. Goes to Osman. With not that much patience. Does it get deflected? Is he unsighted? No deflection whatsoever. He's just got two players in front of him, Kirkland just doesn't see it. I think it's a good finish though from Carsley because he doesn't thrash at it, he just side foots it into the corner. Good finish, got a question the goalkeeper though, I know he's unsighted. Wasn't right in the corner. It's OK saying I can't see it. I think you've got to do better, you've got to try and stop him. Three goals in his last six games now for Lee Carsley. None more important than that. Have their noses in front. And can I remind you, every time this season they've scored the first goal, they've gone on to win. Liverpool's problems have just grown enormously. It's taken a long time to come to the boil, the 200th Merseyside derby. But it's simmering now, all right. Osman for Everton. Reesak can seize the corner. Goodison celebrates as though they've just scored another goal. Liverpool have got to concentrate now. Gonna go down. Cannot afford to go two down. Well, after the start to the season they've had, if they beat Liverpool, they'll be in heaven. Tricky one to the near post, swung in by Cahill, and then somehow or other, Liverpool got it away from danger. I don't know whether Kirkland got there, but uh, Marcus Bent was right in front of him. Cahill should have scored again. Again, no one picks him up. It's totally miss hits. He's shot cleared off the line by Risa. Two great opportunities for Tim Cahill, though. 20 minutes to go at Goodison. Graveson winds up the fans as though they needed it. 
Everton are in the lead. How will Liverpool respond now? They came through a massive crisis against Olympiacos on Wednesday. They're facing another one now. Gravison. Good tackle. Great tackle by Gerard. Cinema Pongo. Oh dear. He's having a bit of a torrid time in the last 20 minutes. Kilban. Brilliant. Cahill. Look at the confidence flowing from these Everton players now. The golden goal time 67 minutes. 67 minutes. The golden goal time. Golden it most certainly was if you're an Evertonian. Somebody's even won some money as a result of it. What a good day they've had if they're a blue. Everton are flying now, firing on all cylinders. Liverpool can't get near them. Not at the moment. The goal's shaking them. They've got to get hold of the ball. More importantly, their final ball's got to be better. If they're going to get back into the match. And even Steven Gerrard's giving it away now. And his attempt to win it back brings down Gravison. Yeah, but the fans are baying for blood. They want to see him yellow carded. I don't think it was a yellow card, that one. It was a foul, no doubt about it. Don't have to book him every time. He's frustrated, Steven Gerrard. He's a little nudge, isn't it? Not too bad. He's only been on the losing side. Gerrard once in nine previous derbies. Time is running out for Liverpool, just as it appeared to be doing on Wednesday night when they responded so magnificently. Ravison. Oh, he's held it up well, really well. And wins the throw as well. Great play from Graveson. Such a strong player. I think he's improved tremendously this season. Overall game's been excellent. Osman. Back again to Graveson. That could be a dangerous ball. Kill Ban on the end of it. Canaga stabs it away to Hosemi. Now on to Nunes. Upon goal, caused a bit of hesitation there by Weir. But Osman back to help out, then he dwelt on the ball too long. Harry Kuehl for Liverpool. And it's Carsley, the hero, who gets it away. He's been round the block a few times, Lee Carsley. Everton is fourth different club in the Premiership. What a great day this could be for him. Neil Mellor going off. Or is he? Has there been a bit of a confusion on the touchline with the fourth official? No, oh, he's going back on again. I don't know what that was all about. I don't think Neil Miller does. Liverpool need goals, he's one of the forwards, they haven't got forwards. Kills flick on. Similar upon goal, Gerrard! Oh, it looked as though he was lining up another of those special goals, but not this time. Well, you would have fancied him, wouldn't you? After Wednesday night, that fantastic goal. When it comes to him, hits the target. Is there a slight deflection? I think there might have been. I think it was Stubbs who threw himself at the ball. But he'd expect a score from there, Stephen Gerrard. Stubbs. Away by Carragher to Gerrard. Finally, Jimmy Trawley is going to get on. Well, Not Mellor is going on. Far Cinema Pongo. That's for number 24, Florian Cinema Pongo. 
And an Everton substitution. And Everton are also about to make a change. And listen to this roar. And he's replacing number seven, Marcus Willis. For both the outgoing and the incoming player, I would suggest. Big applause for Duncan Ferguson. Let's not forget how well Marcus Bench played in that lone roll up front. 15 minutes to go, and the 200th Mersey Derby is perfectly poised for a grandstand finale here. Duncan Ferguson, so often the scourge of Liverpool in the past, is out there now. Now Liverpool got what it takes to come back for the second time in a week from a deficit. They needed three goals on Wednesday night. As far as their fans at the moment are concerned, just one will do. Just looking at Liverpool tactically, what they've done, they put Traore at left-back. Reese has pushed on on the left-hand side of midfield. And Harry Kuehl's now gone up front with Neil Miller. And they need a bit of magic, can he provide it? We know how good a player he is, Harry Kuehl. I think the Liverpool fans want to see a bit more from him, though. Jao, oh, a full-bloody challenge from him, brilliant. Nunes. Now Gerard. Jao's layoff to Carragher. Everton have retreated for the moment into their own half. For Semi, looking for Mella. Now Jao, clearance by Hibbert. Sammy Hoopia. Here's Carragher for Liverpool. Well, Everton have got their customary goal and said to the opposition, right, come and break us down. You know how good they are at doing it, but it is a dangerous game to play. You're going to have to de defend for about 15 minutes or so. Carragher. Gerrard. Great run by the Liverpool captain! Oh, and he just got a hand to it! Good save from Nigel Martin. Wonderful play from Gerrard, though. Got no right to get a shot in. Thought he was going to hit it there. Comes inside, strikes it. Good save from Martin. Good job, it was straight at him. Either side of him would have been much more difficult to save. Xavi Alonso has just come on for Salif Jao for Liverpool. 12 minutes to go. Got a goal down, they have a corner. Easily cleared by Cahill. But Everton are defending very deep now. Xavi Alonso for Liverpool. Offside is the verdict, however. Steven Gerrard. Is his goal going to win this historic derby? question for me is how much of this does Chris Kirkland actually see when the ball comes to Carsley? There's two players, it's Hoopia and Cahill in the way. And it's not right bang in the middle, in the corner of the net. I think you've got, got to go down as a slight goalkeeper in error. Ferguson's layup to kill Ban. Ferguson's gone for the return ball. And it's gone behind. But is it asking too much of Liverpool to come back again and stage another revival in the last ten minutes of a game as they did in the Champions League on Wednesday? One thing's for sure, Everton won't fold the way Olympiakos did. This new Everton team doesn't fold. The team spirit is so good, isn't it? They fight and they work for each other. They won't roll over. If Liverpool are going to get their equalising goal. They're going to have to work very, very hard to get it.
Gary Kill. Suspicion of handball. Traore. That's a corner. Small band of uh, Liverpool fans on that side of Goodison. Roll their team forward. Sandy Hukia has gone into the six yard box. Plenty of other options as well. It's either him or uh, Xavi Alonso who made the first contact. Michael Martin's terrific save from Meller in the first half and Gerrard in the second, keeping another clean sheet for Everton, something they've specialised in this season. And the Liverpool fans who've had a, an emotional roller coaster this week, shaking their heads in disbelief. The face says it all, doesn't it? They're worried and not sure where the goal's going to come from. So he has got to go for that, surely. And Kirkland's dropped it, and he's in trouble against Osman. But the referee's got him out of trouble. Free oh, kick. I'm not sure that's a foul. Not sure it's a foul at all. He's not looked comfortable today, Chris Kirkland. Gets both hands on it. I think they get far too much protection, protection nowadays, goalkeepers. Kilban, he's had a brilliant 20 minutes or so, but this time he runs into the wall of Sami Hoopia. Hibbert. Carragher. He would start to win it back again for Everton. Carsley, the goal scorer. Kill back onto Pistoni. Traore always favoured to win that against uh, the tiny figure of Osman. Only eight minutes to go. Everton won, Liverpool nil, reset. Here's Gerrard, can he inspire his team again? Come on, I'm afraid with a ball like that. It's the right ball. It's poor execution on that occasion. There have been a flurry of changes in the last few minutes. Another one on the way for Everton. This is Yolo coming on. And there'll be a standing ovation for the man he replaces, Tommy Gravison. The Dane with a Scouse accent and a Scouse attitude to these games. I think Yovo just sit in front of the back four now for Everton, alongside Carsley. He's actually Santa Carsley pushing the midfield a bit. Yovo will sit. As he won the header, Ferguson's layoff, he got caught by oh. Sammy Hoopier. That was silly. Didn't need to do that, Duncan. <laughs> Wasn't bad enough doing it. Unhappy with the foul, was he, Ferguson? Taken from behind. I'm not sure it was that bad. It was silly what Ferguson done. He's still at it by the looks. He does not want to spoil his team's uh, winning position here by a flash of temper. Him and Sammy Hoopier are still arguing and bumping into each other. Referee's keeping an eye on that. The free kick is finally lined up for Stubbs, who hits it very close to the target. Good effort from Stubbs. I think it comes off the outside of his foot, though. It's always going away from the goal. Again, perhaps a slight deflection off a cue. Closed him down very quickly. True Evertonian Alan Stubbs, and he's never finished on the winning side in six derby games against Liverpool. Is that record about to end? Mella for Liverpool gives it away to kill back. It's a great ball. Osman. And as they keep it in this half, that's all Everton need. Oh, 
Our Everton on their way to yet another three-point success. Here's Ferguson going for it. Everton have already won more matches than they did in the whole of last season. This is the one they wanted to win most of all. Hibbert. Sensible. Clever. Professional. But they have just got to play the game now, Everton. Got to kill a bit of time. They've got their one goal lead. Keep it in Liverpool's half. A little bit of time wasting if necessary. It's not pretty to watch, but it's about getting those three points. Free kick has gone against Everton this time. Duncan Ferguson unhappy. He needs to be careful here, Duncan Ferguson, because uh, he's pushing the uh, officials to the limit. Another change for Everton. Leon Osman, the latest player, is going off. Steve Watson comes on. Got a good game in his first ever local derby. The youngster who came through Everton's uh, academy. Done very well. I said about time wasting, he's doing a really good job at the moment, Leon Osman. It's the slowest walk you've ever seen coming off the pitch. Mr. Bennett won't be a con by that, of course. He'll stop his watch and restart it. And the action restarts. Kills header on. And Liverpool have made a habit of getting late goals in important games recently. Arsenal, Olympiacos. So it's not over yet. Two massive games tomorrow, Sky Sports 1. We start at noon with Aston Villa against Birmingham and then move on to Highbury for Arsenal versus Chelsea. Away by Stubbs. They've gone over the line before Kilban played it. Into the last two minutes at Goodison. Lee Carsley's goal separates the sides. Rafa Benitez's first experience of a local dog derby could end in defeat. Unless this man can inspire his side again. Now Xavi Alonso. Gerard wants it back. Carragher. Kosemi. Kept in by Nunes. And a good ball to the near post. Mella went for it, but uh, Stubbs got there ahead of him. Ball hands on deck for Liverpool now. And it's pulled back for Risa to hit it. Kirkland just pumps it straight back from whence it came. Kallagher goes down, but uh, no free kick given. Xavi Alonso shows he knows what uh, tackling's all about, as well as his silky skills. But it's Everton to get the throw in. Thirty seconds for stoppage time. Reset. Away by Yogo. Ferguson's header. Cahill turns it forward for Kilban. Or Sammy there first. Otherwise, in a moment, we'll be on the fourth official. We'll hold up the board to indicate how much stoppage time we'll have. Joseph Yogo for Everton. He slips and slides and still manages to keep the ball, but not for long. Traore wins it back. There'll be four minutes at it. Xavi Alonso to cure. Carragher, now Gerard onto Risa, a queuing up for the cross here. Risa dinks it in towards that far post, and it's uh, 
Charlie's effort that sails behind harmlessly. Liverpool appealing, saying it should have been a corner. That's what they've got to do, they've got to get it in the box. Not a time for pretty football now. Was this a corner? Was it a goal kick? It's Traore who goes up. I think it might well have been a corner. Comes finally off an Everton head, doesn't it? Doesn't matter now. They want to celebrate, but they daren't at the moment. Kilban. Gerrard's there to win it back, but it's a bit of a loose back pass. Brilliant defending by Sammy Hoopier. Alonso. Good ball for Reset. Yeah, just got there before Mello could control it. Liverpool's throw, though. Traore. Xavi Alonso on to Steven Gerrard. Reese has come round the back there. Wanted the ball to go out and gets his wish. Liverpool's corner. About two and a half minutes to go. Sammy Hukia making his way into the box again. They'll take a goal however it comes now, Liverpool. Kewell on the back post with the back header. Gerard went for it, Carragher got there ahead of him. Martin lost it! And Everton have survived thanks to Ferguson's clearance, but it's not over yet. Xavi Alonso. Great ball in, great clearance by Carsley. Intense Liverpool pressure here in the final couple of minutes of stoppage time. Hupia tries his luck. It's too many bodies in the way. Liverpool can't find a way through. Pasemi knocks it in. Risa there with the header. Hupia again. Anywhere will do if you're a blue. And Pistoni just lashes it into the Liverpool half. Kirkland lashes it back again. And Mella goes in. Oh, brave header by Stubbs. Brilliant. And Everton get the free kick as well. Superb defending from Alan Stubbs. Was a foul from Mella. Or was this a foul on Nigel Martin? Under big pressure, isn't he? Just help back in. It's Jimmy Traore who goes up with him. I think it was a foul. They kept it out, didn't they? Cahill's behind Martin. Suspicion it might have been over the line as well. It's not a foul, it comes off Traore's head. But Cahill's made up for his first half miss, isn't he? He has, combination of the two of them. Everton are seconds away from beating Liverpool for only the second time in the last 14 Merseyside derbies. And sadly, one idiot has decided that this is the time to come onto the pitch which is not helping his team's cause at all. Whichever team he supports. And the steward deals with him, and we won't give him the satisfaction of showing his uh, rather pathetic actions on television. That's why we've got the stoppage. The uh, invader, who's been criticised by the vast majority of the sensible fans here as being escorted away. Now we're not sure how long we've got to go, but not long, that's for sure. Steven Gerrard hooks it forward, and it's all over! Everton's incredible season has just got even better. Lee Carsley's goal has given them only their second victory against Liverpool in the last 14 Merseyside derbies. And they'll be talking about the 200th Merseyside derby for many years to come on the blue half of this city. Alan Stubbs was a hero late on when Liverpool threw everything at their opponents to try and get an equalising goal. Will get the freedom of the city after this. Look at that scoreline. Look at those fans. 
No more words are needed. The emotions around Goodison are there for everyone to see. The message is Everton are magic. This season, they certainly are. They've gone above the champions, Arsenal, into second place. They're just two points behind the leaders, Chelsea. They've won for the 11th time this season. It just gets better and better if you're a blue. And for so many years, they've been long-suffering supporters. For so often, they saw Liverpool sweeping all before them. And I wondered what it must be like to have days like this. They needn't wonder anymore. It's Everton's day in the sunshine. And so far, it's Everton's season. They dominate Merseyside and most of the rest of the Premiership as well. Bill Kenwright, who's as big an Evertonian as any of those wearing the scarves, leads the applause. David Moyes could go into his office in two minutes' time and get a ten-year contract, I think. I think he could, Al. I think it's appropriate at this moment to say, people are saying it's lucky, they don't deserve to be in the position they are. They do deserve to be in that position. It is a very good Everton team. They keep winning and getting results. Great credit to them. And David Moyes certainly will get the freedom of the city. The first time he's ever scored a victory over Liverpool in a Merseyside derby. The happy faces say it all. Everton won. Liverpool nil. Well, it used to be 1-0 to the Arsenal these days. It is very much 1-0 to the Everton. And look at that, they are up to second in the Premiership. It's fantasy stuff. 36 from 17 played. Of course, it is Arsenal against Chelsea tomorrow. And Liverpool in seventh. They've played a game less, but they are now 12 points behind their local rivals. Well, Evertonians have had to wait since September 1999 for a derby victory. Well, they're celebrating again today thanks to Lee Carsley. David Moyes has broken his duck in this particular fixture. And Carsley's been popping up with some useful strikes in recent times. That team spirit very much in evidence again. They'll be parting tonight. They're in second place in the Premiership. Arsenal will look to go back above them tomorrow when they entertain Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Liverpool in seventh. Aston Villa just above them, and of course they have their own derby to look forward to against Birmingham tomorrow. Down at the bottom, all going to change during the course of the afternoon and the weekend, but West Brom, Norwich and Southampton desperate for points. Then Blackburn Palace, Birmingham, Fulham, Spurs, who are in action not too far from here at Manchester City this afternoon, and Newcastle in 12th place. Well, the goal scorer and the match hero is also the man of the match, Lee Carsley, and his twin brother, Thomas Graveson, are with Jeff Shreves. Thomas Lee, you've been sprayed in drinks as though you've won the title. Does it feel like that? It does, yeah. It means a lot to us, um, as, as well as the fans. I mean, you can hear them out there now. They're buzzing. So, I mean, it's, um, it's a big day for us all. Man. Is it even sweeter because it's been such a long wait? Yeah, I think uh, we've been waiting for this for five years now, and uh, today really showed that the, the team has come far uh, the last five years, and, and it makes it really sweet, yeah. Is this season just getting better and better? I mean, everyone's, everyone's still waiting for us to, um, you know, to fall over, but now we're going strong, man. We've got a great team spirit, we've got some good lads here, so I mean, it's, it's, it's going really well, man. What about the goal itself? Is it a case of steering it round the keeper? I didn't. I didn't really see what happened. To be honest, I mean, I just got good, good contact on it. So I mean, but you know, Chris, Chris is a great goalie. So yeah, he was unlucky there. That's three goals in the last six. That's the sort of strike rate of Alan Shearer and Andy Cole. What's going on, Lee? <laughs> just, just one of them things. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thomas, you look like you were getting the crowd involved as well. How important were they here today? No, I was not looking to get the crowd involved. They are involved here at, at Everton. They are uh, really behind the team this season here because uh, I think they've been stepped on as well as the team. So uh, everybody is together here in, in, in this uh, in this club here at the moment. Was it a typical derby? It wasn't that pretty to watch. 
No, there was a lot of stake uh, for both teams. Uh, we certainly want to prove everybody wrong still, and we certainly want to keep uh, keep up in the top as long as we can. Uh, for Liverpool, it's, uh, it was a matter of getting uh, the three points on the count after a, a big performance in Europe during the week. So uh, it was a big match. Uh, so there was a lot of stake. Lee, how much more than three points was this? Well, it was um, you know means a lot to all the players and the fans. So. Uh, it just means that we can uh, go out tonight if you want. I'm sure you will. Here's some champagne for it. You're the Barclays man, that's Thomas, do the honours, mate. Brilliant, Lee. Cheers, mate. Cheers, lads. <laughs> Cheers, boys. David, your first taste of success in the Liverpool derby. How sweet does it feel? Uh, it's great for us because uh, not only my first success, but I think it's the first time in seven years we've won it. We've won it Goodison. So for everybody out there today, you know, they've waited a long time for that. Does this feel like a lot more than three points? Well, it does because of winning winning this game. But you know, when things settle down, you get three points for it. But it's not just the three points today. It's the other 33 we got before today, really, which uh, is important stuff. Nine games now where you've scored the first goal and gone on to win the game. I mean, that's a tremendous thing to have in your armoury. It's a great record for the players to, to have because, you know, how well they defended when they had to, you know, how well organised they are, you know, and, and they keep putting themselves in the line and they keep picking up wins. And today, on the balance of play, I think we just a bit might have shaded it. One Premiership manager says they celebrate when they score the first goal as though they've won the game, but look, they've got a point, don't they? Well, see, when we hadn't won many last year, we didn't get many chances to celebrate. We didn't get many chances to enjoy it in the dressing room after. So, so we are enjoying it, and we are enjoying the goals we score, and you can see the team spirit amongst the boys. They're all in it for each other, and uh, I can tell you they're enjoying it in the dressing room as well. This is the first time that Everton have been second at this stage of the Premiership. What does it say about the progress? Well, it says that we, we're moving on when really you know, a lot of people didn't think we could do so. Uh, we know what we've got. We've got a real honest group of lads who are doing everything that's asked of them. They've got great confidence, great self-belief at the moment, and that is helping us win games. We don't maybe have quite the quality that some other football clubs have got, but we are, we are bridging that gap with we, we every ounce we've got. A lot of people are saying, well, it's great this year, three horse race, Arsenal, United and Chelsea. Do you think it's about time they started mentioning Everton? Well, it would, it would be nice if some of them sort of brought it up, you know, and started to stop saying, you know, that we're maybe not going to be there. But we're, our job's just to keep playing. We don't really listen to too many people. I only listen to the people who, who are around me and, and know exactly what we're doing here. But are you now genuine title contenders? Uh, because we're second, you would have to say yes, if any other club was second. But uh, obviously, I think people will look at what we've got available to us and say probably that's not possible. How enjoyable will tonight be? Well, it'll be as enjoyable as the other ten wins we've had this season. But uh, obviously, for the people in, in or the blue half of Merseyside tonight, uh, I think they'll have a right good night. Well done. Cheers. When all the lights go out forever, somewhere near the end of time. And the dust will settle And you'll be on my mind Now you won't find it hard to understand Though it's so hard to explain The who and what and how and why and wherefore You kept me saying Get me saying with it here and uh, it's a good ball as well Cahill may fall for Marcus Ben Cahill gets back to his feet Leon Osman back out to Lee Carsley well he's deserved that every ounce of that he's deserved because he's had a fantastic game brought into the game to keep Steven Gerrard quiet and who'd have thought he'd be a goal hero 22 minutes remain of this game and Lee Carsley could have won it for the Blues. There's the celebration of David Moyes. 
He can't believe it. But I tell you what, Lee Carsley has been the unsung hero in this game so far. A historic Merseyside derby win for Everton. The first under David Moyes' reign. The first since September 1999. And the first derby goal for Lee Carsley. 11 points clear of Liverpool. Everton were now amongst the favourites for a coveted Champions League place. It wasn't just the fans who were in dreamland. The magical moment when Cars, of all people, Cars to score the goal on the ground, the goal. I don't have to say what goal, the goal on the ground, and when they all jumped on top of him. It's like when the Americans um, were on EO, EO Gman and they took Mount Surabach, you know, putting their stars and stripes. It was it Ira Hayes, the American Indian fella, and he's up there with the flag. And that was just like a mountain of bodies with the lads on, you know. And that was super duper, that, yeah, crikey. Cosley, goal. Need to say anything else? <laughs> so actually get the win over Liverpool. Um, and, and it being at home, you know, it's obviously great to, to beat Liverpool away, but to beat them at home in front of all in front of your fans is, you know, is, um, is, is a little bit special. The result was the, the main thing. I mean, it was, um, it, was a, it was a massive result for us. It was, um, you know, it was a, it was a big game. And um, it was something that we can look back on and say, yeah, well, the pressure was on us then and we've we done it. So, um, you know, it was, it was a great day all in all. It was just a good day. Everybody was saying that maybe for the first time ever we're going into the game favourites, which I found hard to believe with the, with the acquisitions that Liverpool had made this season, that, that we were getting talked in those terms. But uh, nevertheless, it was a, a rip-roaring day at Goodison. And uh, one I think I'll remember probably as, as one of my main highlights.